Hey guys, just want to leave you with a, a quick coaching call that happened a few days ago. You'll see my hair will be a bit longer. Basically, it's a coaching call or behind the scenes of a coaching call that I'm doing. Because of course, from Empower by Eating, I've still got all my old one-on-one -on -one clients. They've stayed with me for a while. So thanks for you guys for the support and everything with Empower by Eating. Basically, what we're going to do here is we live in a situation where food availability in the world is so high, it's ridiculous. Just think back 20 years ago. 30 years ago maybe when you know most people would eat fruit and veg you know two meat two veg for tea what was it when you two, two meat two veg for tea or something like that meat and two veg meat and two veg yeah <laughs> whatever it is basically that would be a staple meal now you can go into the supermarket and you can pay like a pound and you get like this crap ready meal and of course it's not good quality it's just rubbish food put together and super high calorie so because of this, convenience of food has become a, it's so easy to get hold of, it's very difficult for people to stay in shape without doing some of the strategies that we use in Empower by Eating and what we're going to be helping people if they wish to do it in the gym here is to use our strategies. Anyway, during this coaching call, um, the person, obviously it will be blared out so you can't see who it is for privacy, the person had been... Um, accidentally consuming what was it coconut oil. coconut oil yeah so she'd had like because it was a few days ago it was like a, a an entire container of coconut oil in a week and it worked out like 5,000 calories and it was by mistake because someone that was cooking the meal for the person um, thought it was healthy and it was okay and it had happened in the past so this is something that happens very regularly so it's because of the world being so like against us for staying in shape at, uh, at present so I want to leave you with that um, and hope that you enjoy it. Got any feedback, let me know below. You don't need to worry about salt so much, but obviously, I mean, do, did you, do you know how much coconut oil he ended up putting in a, a week? The whole jar? In a week. Oh dear. Yeah, how, how big was a jar? Coconut oil. Yeah, so coconut oil in tablespoons. Give me the grams. So you reckon it was 500 gram a week? Yeah, 4,600 calories. By mistake, by mistake per week. We have to just make sure that we know what's going on our food, even if it's someone close to us putting the food in the in the di in the dinner. It's it's one of them things that's perceived as being healthy. I had another guy about two or three years ago, like his, his perception, even though he was counting his macros and his calories. I don't know if I told you, he was he was tracking um, wasn't tracking uh, honey, so he ended up putting 160 gram of honey in his yogurt every day, and not tracking it because he thought it was healthy. And of course, there's 160 gram of carbs. And if we start doing the maths per day, it was negative when he was doing it. But of course, when we found out, it gave him a lot more food to be able to eat, which obviously satisfied him a lot better. So that's what's happened to you now, and that's why your calories keep going up and up and up. And you'll still you'll keep losing weight until we find that like what what we call what do we call it the just right area. So we'll keep going up and up and up until that just right area. So even though it's you know it's quite a big percentage and it feels good, we don't want to be losing 10 pound in in uh, two weeks because we know it's not potentially not sustainable you know so what we'll do is we just keep going up until that slows down a little bit and we try and achieve about three percent a week which is about one percent so we we can keep we can keep going now at this three to five pound a loss and we can achieve that goal so last week obviously you um you talked about how do you feel about you still ten percent uh, eight out of ten confident and eight out of ten need it because we spoke about the goal. Have you thought about that goal this week? The actual physical, like you're gonna do that in a in a, in a in a year's time. So it's removing that excuse because, yeah, that's interesting. So it's, so if, you, if you're visualising it, it's good. So you're in work, are you? Is that your office out of the back? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're in a corridor. That's cool. Oh yeah. Coaching call mid in the middle of a hospital. That's good. <laughs> we just changed up to two thousand eight hundred calories, didn't we, a day? And then we tried to track protein at about one thirty, didn't we? And that's the only change we made because we don't want to go too much. 
So fibre's been alright. And how's your protein been then? So it's like what we're doing. What we're doing now is so is so new and so simple. And you just need to know the macros and the calories on the food. That pretty much all restaurants in the next three to five years, I kind of predict, will almost have to do it because there'll be more people doing what you're doing. So we end up with this. Like, well, in London, they're already doing it. Most restaurants and most places have got the calories and the macros on the menu. So we can just relax and go, cool, okay. I don't have to be stressed about food. I know what's in it. So, yeah. That'll happen more. On what? On barcode, yeah. 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 Did, you, did you have a look on that? Did it? Okay. So I have to set you up with a training plan on there. Uh, if you want to do that so what we'll do now is we'll look at maybe because you go to the gym and you just kind of do a little bit don't you as well as the swimming so what we can do now is put actually a training plan into that app and then you can go and do a little bit and it gives you a video on how to do each bit um, so I can do that at some point if you're ready for it okay um, and then I can also you have to do it as you connect it with my fitness pal so I can then see what you're doing on a daily basis and it keeps a good track of it for you um, in my fitness pal as well, maybe you want to move to adding the weight in the bottom. I best, I best remove this coconut oil from my um, from my macro from my calories. Go to weight. Just click in your weight and then just type in your weight every day. What that'll do then is it'll connect with that app, and I'll be able to see what it's doing, and then you can relax a bit about trying to use a spreadsheet because obviously some people don't like spreadsheets. So your your phone doesn't like a spreadsheet. <laughs> so I should let you go and get your SD dinner then, really. Um, good. Okay, keep going. I hope everything's going. Everything's going awesome. Sometimes we don't have to change anything. We just keep going. The stuff you're doing is working. You're losing five pound a week at the minute. You know we don't want that much. We want to bring it up to about three pound. It's just easy, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. All right. Take care. Have a good day. Bye. So that was one of our um, clients. Has been following for quite a while. She's done a seminar. Um, she did seminar one with us, and then she's come on as being coached. And what happened last week or the week before was she found out that someone close to her was actually putting coconut oil in a, in a meal, but he thought it was healthy because the industry makes it think like it's healthy. So what happened was she ended up, it, well, we just worked it out, it was like 4,000, 4,600 calories roughly a week on top of the calories she was eating through my fitness pal. So obviously you could take that as a real negative thing and go, oh no. But we didn't we just took it as a positive and turned it round and then what happened then was she's been losing too much weight now and obviously when we look at everything in a sustainable manner and taking your time and you know making sure you can stick to it over the long term we've actually been up in her calories so now she's losing like well at the end of the call there it looks like this week's going to be five pounds so we'll add another hundred on until she gets to about two or three pound a week and she's aiming for a hundred pound loss so we're two stone in already so that's cool